guys, and welcome back to yet another episode of Is It Really That Bad? Episode 7. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. So today's movie is a movie that I've seen so many times and I remember loving um, as a child. But of course, with growing up, your movie styles change and... Well, this is a movie that I just came back to. It's called Parental Guidance. Now, I do have it on DVD, so I was able to watch it on DVD. And I am just going to give you my thoughts because I just rewatched it last night. So, before I get into my thoughts, I just want to tell you the plot of the movie. Now, the, the movie starts out with a with a shot of a baseball stadium of a guy named Artie, De Artie Decker... Um, announcing for the minor league team, the Fresno Grizzlies. Um, and it shows him announcing the final game of their season, the final, final inning of the final game of the season. Um, and it cuts to him being fired from his job. And when he comes home, uh, well, it cuts away to, to their, their child, Al Alice and her husband, um, with their three kids, um, her husband won wins an award for the prototype R Life house that they have, and he won an award, and they have to go away to Hilton Head. So they ask their grant. They ask Alice asks her parents, Artie and Diane, to to basically watch their kids, and <clears throat> Artie's a little skeptical at first because they haven't seen their grandchildren in about ten months, and they fly to Atlanta, they live in Atlanta, and basically they try to do everything in their power to be, be the good grandparents because they were basically known as the other grandparents. Um, and they try to do everything in their power to be the good grandparents, grandparents that their, that their grandchildren will remember. Well, with these particular kids, they are, they are, not really special, but they are like parented in a much different way. Like um, they don't they don't eat any sugar. Um, one one is a um, prodigy and the on the fiddle. Um, one has a speech impediment; he stutters, and the other one, um, well, is very young. So they parent their children in a very um, specific way, <clears throat> and. They are, basically they're parented, they are um, raised differently than other parent, other kids. They also live in a prototype smart house, so, um, so there's that. Um, Artie, coming off of being fired from his job as a color commentator for the Fresno Grizzlies, um, basically is j just, is skeptical about the whole thing because he's afraid that his grandchildren don't, won't like him. Ooh, Jesus. That his grandparent grandchildren won't like him. And so throughout the entire movie, he just makes he makes jokes um, and tries to be a good grandfather. Um, one of the things he does is he lets the kids call him Artie. Um, <clears throat> and basically what they're trying to do is they're trying to do what Alice does to raise them. Um, and it is, pr it is pretty funny how they, um, they try, most of the time they fail, um, and it's just because, like, they are not, they're, they are not, uh, they are not like Alice and Phil. They are not, they are complete two different people, and they're just coming in off of, coming in, learning their new life, learning their lifestyle. So, it's difficult, um... Um, well, I just forgot what I was going to say. Um, also, also, um, one of the kids, I, Harper, is a prodigy on the fiddle. And she practices, 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 because she has an audition on the Saturday. And basically, a whole lot's going on. If you want to read the plot, if you want to read the plot, there's a link in the description. You can go check it out. But that's just pretty much what I remembered from the actual movie.
Now, before I give you my thoughts, I just want to show you the Rotten Tomatoes score. Um, 17% is the critics' Rotten Tomato score, and then for audiences, it's 59. So, this movie wasn't favored too well by critics. Uh, let's just read some of their reviews. This grading family comedy resembles a sitcom in its flat lighting, patriotic music, patronizing music cues and framing and frame supply. Little, little visual information apart from the act, actors mugging faces. Yikes. A film with little else to, rec to commend it from the obvious. Billy Crystal and Bette Midler play two dis dysfunctional grandparents. Ouch, ouch and twice ouch. Jesus. How about a how about a f fresh one? How about it's definitely a feel good movie, making it the perfect family friendly holiday pick. Pick just remember not to grumble when it doesn't offer any more than that. Jesus Christmas cross. There is nothing profound here, but if art Artie is being called farty by a pre preschooler takes your fancy, then you'll have a laugh. Jesus and finally a more cliche cloying and predictable triacle fest than parental guidance you will not find it find if you're an adult that's why it's pretty good film for small children let's see and then user submitted this was a little nice little family movie proves that billy crystal is still funny very heartwarming at the end it's a tear can be a tearjerker there's some, there's some to love and a lot to dislike about this Billy Crystal Bette Midler paired comedy is this long. Oh yeah. If you want to read this, take a screenshot or pause the video. Anyway. Utterly lame movie. I would have blistered Barker I would have blistered Barker's behind several times. And finally, Artie Decker is good at what he does, being a radio announcer. Uh yeah. Again, long review. If you want to read it, if you want to read it, take a chance and take a second to pause the video right now. Okay, moving on. Now, my thoughts on the movie. I did not think this movie was absolutely that. It was not absolutely terrible. And here's why. I think Billy Crystal, who plays Artie Decker, I just think that he's just really funny. He's this really funny guy, and if you know Billy Crystal, you know he played um, Mike Wazowski in Monster in the Monsters franchise, um, and he, I just love his voice. I don't know what it is. I just love his voice. He's just so funny, and I just that's just what I like about him. He's really funny, and pairing with Bette Bit Midler, Midler, you might know her from Hocus Pocus. By the way, don't don't attack me in the comments. Never seen it. Um, I just think the two of them paired together is just really funny and really good. I honestly do. And seeing seeing this type of mo movie about grandparents trying to be trying to be you know good, um, it's something different from what I've seen. Um, basically, being outcast, trying to trying to fit in. Like that's how I see it. It's like it's like outcast trying to fit in. You know what I mean? So. Is this movie really as bad as as critics say it is? Absolutely not, and that is because it is just super funny, and the kids could kids could love it too. But anyway, if you want to go watch this movie, um, you can find this movie on Amazon Amazon Prime, YouTube. You can you can rent it off of Amazon, YouTube, Google Play, iTunes, Vudu, Pick Your Poison. Um, it's there, but I got it. I had my copy on DVD. Um, I, I actually got it from my video store that was going out of business. It was two ninety nine. So, so I just picked it up and I wanted to watch it again because I had because the last time I saw this movie, it came out in two thousand twelve. Last time I saw it was probably in like two thousand fifteen, and it's twenty twenty. So. So yeah, this I think this movie is pretty good. Um, I would put it on, I would maybe give it like a three and a half, four, and that is because I just it just get, brings back memories from when I was a kid because I used to watch it all the time. So if you want to go, if you want to go watch this movie yourself, if there's a DVD out there, DVD copy of it, you can go grab it from any DVD store, or if you want to rent it, you can get it off of. 
Amazon, YouTube, iTunes, Google Play, and Vudu. Pick your poison! Now, of course, I'm making this new episode of Is It Really That Bad? Because we had recently just hit 30 subscribers this past couple of days, but... <laughs> But this is the this is what really hurts me the most. We hit 30 subscribers and then we fell just and then we fell to 29. But if you do subscribe and you punch the bell, then the next person who subscribes will be the 30th subscriber. So if you haven't already subscribed, please do me a favor hit that subscribe button and punch the bell. And also, if you enjoy this video, please press a like on this video. It really makes a difference. Please, if you like the video, please slap like on it. Also, leave me a comment below on what movie I should do next. Um, this week, I am planning on making a video every day. Um, I didn't forget about today. This video will be going up around 11 p.m. So if you are awake, uh, and if you want to watch it, just go ahead and watch it. Now, so if you haven't subscribed, do that and punch the bell so you get notified about when I make a new episode of Is It Really That Bad? Um, I'm, going, I'm going to be making a whole lot of these. I'm going to film them and then going to release them every week. But I'm making, I'm making a lot in advance. So, so if you're ready for that, so if you're ready for that, just subscribe to the channel. What are you doing? If you're watching this right now, if you're not subscribed, then what are you doing? Just go ahead and subscribe and punch the bell because I make new videos all the time. Please subscribe and become my 30th subscriber. Anyway, that's all from me. Expect a new video tomorrow. I don't know what I'm doing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.